it's not a reading task we are doing it's a speaking task that we are doing so the transcript is just a help for you that is not your task to read the transcript transcript is your help. hello everyone how are you all well are you excited for today's lesson so today we are going to talk about the much awaited topic that is shadowing technique well you must have watched my video in which i was talking that how you can improve your english through movies through watching movies and in that particular video i suggested this method this technique that is shadowing technique so shadowing technique in itself is a detailed technique and today i'm going to tell you how to do this technique and how you can do this technique in order to improve your english fluency yes you heard it correct fluency so this is actually an advanced learner technique that is used to improve speaking fluency and pronunciation but i believe that you can start this technique at any level it is not necessary that you need to be on advanced level so it's uh, good to start earlier rather than later at whatever level you are you can definitely adopt this technique so shadowing technique the most famous language learning technique well in this what we do is we take any audio and we have to repeat the words we have to repeat whatever we listen to and because we are speaking this is an excellent way of developing our speaking skills and improving our speaking fluency so this particular technique it's completely dedicated to developing your speaking fluency for taking your speaking fluency to the next level and also improving your pronunciation so if you're looking for a technique to develop your fluency and your pronunciation you can definitely use this technique now i'm going to tell you what is this technique why you should do this the benefits there are numerous benefits of this technique and then steps you need to follow plus the mistakes that you might make while uh, doing this technique things that you need to avoid so let's begin and start by what is this technique well shadowing technique shadowing technique is a technique where you have to repeat whatever you listen to so you have to take any audio any english audio uh preferably a native speaker's audio but that's not an issue according to me you can take any good english audio so take a good english audio and you have to listen to the audio and you have to repeat whatever you are listening to whatever the speaker is saying you have to repeat it so basically you are acting like an echo just like an echo when you uh, hear an echo the same things come back to you you are able to hear the same thing again and again for two three four times so you are acting as an echo of the speaker or you can say the shadow of the speaker that's why this technique has been given the name shadowing technique we are shadowing whatever we are listening whatever the speaker is saying we are acting as a shadow so we are like a shadow speaker we have to speak everything same to same now what are the benefits of doing this technique first of all when you do shadowing technique it is going to improve your fluency a lot you will become more natural at speaking english so this technique is adopted in a lot of language learning not just in english language learning but in any foreign language learning this technique why you should do shadowing technique what are the benefits well there are numerous benefits and the most important one is it is going to develop your fluency it helps in increasing fluency a lot plus it helps you to improve your pronunciation without any extra efforts when you are shadowing someone when you're shadowing a speaker a good example that's a good example and you're shadowing the good example so when you will be shadowing the good example you will be able to learn how the particular words are pronounced plus your fluency will be increased a lot so this technique is a language learning technique not only in english language but in other language learning for example any foreign language spanish german italian you name it almost all the language learning they have this technique all the languages so this technique is great way to develop your fluency if you're not satisfied with the fluency if you want to become a better speaker this technique is for you 
because this technique is completely dedicated to speaking the main focus is speaking second benefit is that you have a secondary task that is listening although we are not paying that much attention to listening our sole focus is on speaking whatever we are speaking we have to pay attention to what we are speaking in this technique still we are listening to some authentic english content and when we are doing that we are listening to some authentic english content we are building on our vocabulary our english skills so that means you are also gaining some kind of uh, english vocabulary plus you are doing some english listening practice too so secondary benefit is that you are automatically doing english listening practice now another benefit that is you are able to understand the intonation the rhythm the tone of the voice basically what are you saying how are you saying the way the sentences are formed and the way you are speaking those sentences in meaningful way so can you see when i speak you can see a lot of voice modulation what is voice modulation your pitch your intonation your tone your word stress your sentence stress i'm using a lot of heavy words and please don't get confused uh i will make a separate video for you on all of these things do not worry if you want just let me comment so all of these things you will be able to pick them up you will be able to speak english naturally natural english is when you know what kind of tone you are using you're speaking it in a melodious way that is you are using voice modulation because when we say something straight just straight without any emotions it does not sound good to make it sound good to make it sound attractive to make it sound fluent we have to use our voice modulation and through this particular technique you will be able to improve your voice modulation too now after listening to all these benefits are you excited to know how you can do this technique i'm sure that you must be so let's not waste any time and let's get to the steps that you need to follow in order to do this techniques so here are the details step number 1 is pick an audio of your liking see uh you can pick any audio it can be a podcast it can be a clip on the youtube it can be a movie it can be any song but my favorite is movies when i say shadowing i always mean movies although you can take any english audio any authentic audio that's up to you but i prefer movies i love doing this technique with movies because then you have your subtitles you can watch the speaker you can watch their body language you can watch the expressions and it adds so much more to it so basically if you are going to use all those voice modulations the expressions the body language i think it is going to benefit you much more that's why i love this technique when it is done with a movie okay now so select something that you like that is a topic of your interest because you need to really have interest in that particular thing if that is not interesting to you you will not be able to do this technique so something that is of your liking select that now, so step number 2 is listen to the audio or the video passively you have to listen to it passively that means you don't have to speak anything you don't have to act out nothing you have to pay total attention towards listening it because if you will not be able to listen to the audio first you will not be able to do the shadowing technique in order to do the shadowing technique you must know the words uh, a little bit so when you listen to it passively and when you listen to it with your full attention on the first go then you know you are familiar with the words and when you are familiar with the words you will be finding it quite easy to do this shadowing technique so listen to it passively and pay attention to the words and all now step number 3 so step number 3 is this time you have to do the shadowing technique the shadowing technique that we are talking about now what you have to do so you have to repeat the lines as it is as the speaker is saying do not do it continuously four to five lines you're going to shadow and for the next four to five lines you are not going to speak anything then again four to five lines you're going to shadow and then the next four to five lines you're just going to listen 
so basically if i have 15 lines basically in an audio for example so shadow the first four then leave the next four then shadow the next four then leave the remaining four or so on because you need to have some kind of break in between to understand what is being said so if you are going to continuously speak continuously if you are trying to shadow or repeat it might get confusing for you in order to keep things simplified take four leave four take four leave four do this and when you listen repeat as it is try to mimic the tone the way they are speaking same to same try to mimic everything as it is so yeah we are mimicking that is the thing and why we are doing that because when we learned our mother tongue didn't we do it by imitating and mimicking who were there around us our parents uh, our relatives teachers the surroundings everything that's how you learn your mother tongue so we are trying to create a similar environment or we are trying to evoke similar thing in your mind your mind is going to get simulated in the similar way the way you learn your mother tongue so simulation is same and when we have the simulation it is easier for us to gain natural fluency natural speaking skills so you have to imitate and repeat everything as it is because as you might have heard it imitation is the basic level of learning so the basic learning starts from imitation and here we need to gain fluency and in order to do that let's imitate the fluency as it is because whatever they are speaking they are speaking it fluently that's why we are listening to the audio that's why we are listening to them as a role model because they are a good model that's a good model of spoken english now i also do this thing with you in my videos whenever i say repeat after me you must have heard that repeat after me that is actually a shadowing so when i try to say and ask you to pronounce things as it is after me that is a shadowing technique too i am using a shadowing technique in my lesson okay so step number 4 this is something additional that you can join with the step number 3 too if you want uh that is shadow with a transcript so if you are listening to an audio to a podcast you can just print out this transcript you can take out the transcript and you can read the transcript for easier uh, approach to this technique so you can just read it but don't read it flat when you're reading you have to imitate the way speaker is saying it remember the thing is that we have to speak as it is it's not a reading task we are doing it's a speaking task that we are doing so the transcript is just a help for you that is not your task to read the transcript transcript is your helping hand for this particular technique and that's when the step number 5 comes that is do it without a transcript so that's what i already told you in the step number 3 that you have to shadow so if you are comfortable you can do it without a transcript in the first attempt and if you don't feel comfortable definitely use a transcript that's not a problem and when you are comfortable uh, doing this technique with a transcript then you can shift to doing it without a transcript or without switching on your subtitles so turn on the subtitles practice it for some time and then turn off your subtitles and then practice it so that's the key to be able to shadow or to be able to do this technique without your transcript or your subtitles to you so this technique actually helps a lot do this technique and while doing it you have to take one thing into the consideration and here comes the caution caution something that you don't have to do that is do not listen pause and then repeat don't do that that's not shadowing a lot of learners do that listen pause and then repeat no you have to repeat as you listen to the audio it will be challenging in the beginning you must be thinking how to do that because then the next line whatever it is coming we are going to miss that that's why i say take four line leave four line take four line leave four line that is i'm suggesting this method so you don't have to pause the video otherwise you will lose the integrity the purpose of this particular technique if you pause it you don't have to pause it listen and speak as you listen to it try to imitate shadow 
so that's it for today i hope that you like the video and you are definitely gonna try this technique i'm sure about it so next time when you're watching a hollywood movie any english movie or a series on the netflix turn on your subtitles and give this technique a try it will hardly take your five minutes yeah so basically coming back to the time that i forgot to mention this time in the video so the time that you need to give to this technique is five minutes do not do this for the whole movie just five minutes because then it's gonna be an overload we don't want to overload our brain with extra information or exaggerate it five minutes is enough and if you can do this twice thrice in a week for five minutes it is going to give you great results in a month definitely you will feel the improvement in the way you are speaking you will feel that there is slight improvement in the tone that you are using you will feel it so do this technique give it a try and do let me know in comments did you like it or not do like the video and share it with your friends and also subscribe the channel if you haven't till now because more lessons are on their way for you so i'm shivangi i'm gonna meet you in the next video with a new topic till then take care Give this technique a try and see you next time. Bye.